Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in today's video we are going to analyze a game where super solid hippopotamus defense is played. On the white side is Moldovan French woman chess grandmaster Almira Skripchenko and her opponent is French chess grandmaster Laurent Fresinet. This game is from 2002 French Championship and Skripchenko opened up with e4. Fresinet's answer was g6 black goes for modern defense. As you know, modern defense is closely related to Pierce defense, but there is a difference. Black is temporarily delaying the development of the knight. Usually, Black is putting the knight on f6, but now with this fourth move, we can see that Black has completely different ideas and Black is entering lines of the so called hippopotamus defense. There it goes, this time the b pawn is appearing on the 6th rank, bishop b7, queen d2 and h6, a well known hippo formation is on the board. This is a rare setup, but is a good way of avoiding theoretical battle. It can serve as a nice surprise weapon and also this is considered to be a nice anti-computer strategy. Knight e7 h4. By the way, if you remember earlier, I've already shared with you Petrosian vs. Pasky game. That game was from 1966 World Championship match. It's game 12, where again Spassky played that super solid opening. That game ended in a draw. In case you missed that game, the link I will pin in the comment section. And meanwhile, I'm proceeding with the game, nothing special. And with f5, black is going for a breakthrough. As you know, this idea of going for f5 is common to King's Indian defense. And yes, there are some similarities. f3, knight takes f5. Uh, somehow, I have a feeling as if it's black who is trying to take the initiative. Black also castled kingside, c3, king h8. We can see that from the opening, white didn't get much. And all in all, we have an equality, yes, there is an equal fight going on. An exchange on f6 also followed, and with g4, white is locking up the king side, thus neutralizing opponent's possible attacks. c6, c4, c takes d5, c takes d5, rook c8. Now black will try to build up pressure on this isolated pawn on d5. Knight g2, queen f7. Queen d3 and rook f8. Black is forming a battery, is hitting on f3, but this is not good, you know. Better is playing rook c5. If bishop c2, then you can always neutralize the mating threat with queen g8. If here, then just already knight takes d5, yes. Uh, instead, in our game after queen d3, we have rook f8 move. And after knight d3, suddenly it turns out that capturing on f3 is not good, because in the end of the day, white has this rook f1 move. If here, then queen d2. If queen h3, then check. And then bishop takes d6, right? Suddenly black's position is starting to collapse. Uh, I'm not sure at what point did black see that capturing on f3 leads to a catastrophe, but yes, definitely rook f8 is not that good. And after rook f8, this time black is making another serious mistake, queen e8, which is already losing. Yeah, the thing is that after bishop c2, you can no longer protect your king cover the h7 square with queen g8 and now black is losing. There is a mating threat, black played king g8 and now you can give a try to find white's next moves. Ready? Here we go. At this point white decided to sacrifice the bishop on e5 in order to break into pieces opponent's defense. Only after d takes e5, queen h7, check followed, king f7, d6. And with this move, white is not only attacking black knight, but is opening up the a to g8 diagonal. Bishop b3 is coming. Rook h8, bishop b3, check, bishop d5. And now what? What to play? 
Uh, ready? Uh, now look, you can even move back your queen on d3, you know. This is also winning. No problem at all. This is winning. Check. And then king e7, queen e4. Uh, I think that without much effort white can win this. Don't think that this exposed king can survive. But after bishop d5 we have something better than queen d3. And that move is an absolutely fantastic. Knight takes d5. White is like saying, hey man, you are free to win my queen. Go on. Rook takes h7. Knight f6 check. King takes f6. What if well, if king f8, then just knight takes h7 checkmate, right? This is this is so beautiful. After knight f6, black recaptured with the king, and there comes d7. Queen d8, rook d6 check. Oops, and suddenly it turns out that this is a checkmate. Black can't move his king. There is no defense from this check, and this is a checkmate. Yeah, hard to believe, but yes, we have a checkmate on the board. A very, very impressive final combination by Skripchenko, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. Okay, and now it's puzzle time. It's black to move and win the game. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. By the way, also try to figure out a nice defense from white side as well. There is still a tough fight going on. So it's black to move and win the game. As usual, we'll wait for your answers in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video.